So we all have clothing styles that make us feel really confident and then other styles that make us feel, well, not. And on my channel, I talk a lot about finding clothes that bring out that confidence, that highlight the things you love about your body. But there are definitely styles that I like and would wanna wear or at least wanna try. But every single time I just scroll right past them when I'm online shopping or I walk right past the rack when I'm at the store. Because while I like that style, it usually highlights something about my body that I'm a little insecure about that I'm still working on loving and accepting. So this week, I am gonna try and conquer some of those fashion fears by styling clothes that I feel insecure in. Also, I asked you guys over on my Instagram what clothing styles make you feel insecure, and I read through to see which insecurities we share, and those are the ones that I'm gonna try and conquer in this video. That way, hopefully, not only am I facing my own fashion fears, but if you've had any of these same insecurities, this video can be that extra little push for you to give them a try in your own daily style. And before we get into day one, I wanted to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Savage X Fenty. So you know I'm gonna be rocking my favorite Savage X Fenty bras and undies underneath these outfits. Savage X Fenty has hundreds of styles, so they've really got you covered for all of your bra, underwear, sleepwear, and lingerie needs. And the quality and comfort of these pieces are fantastic. They're really built to last. The July collection has a lot of really bright colors and fun tones. I love this floral lace and mesh bralette in this two-tone pink. The floral lace unlined bra in this like pink ombre color is just stunning. And I love how striking this leopard lace push-up bra is. The color actually is called spicy red, which is just right on the money. Also, I've talked before about how great their strapless bras are, but I'm gonna say it again. They are, they're so great for me. I've had their new strapless bra for a while and it's my go-to. And then I just got this floral lace strapless bra. So be sure to check out Savage X Fenty from my link down in the description. You can make a one-time purchase or join their extra VIP program where you'll save on your purchases and you'll be charged monthly unless you skip by the fifth of the month. And you'll get 50% off any items in your first First extra VIP order if you use my link. So thank you, Savage X Fenty. Now let's get into my week of trying to conquer these clothing insecurities. Day one, I am so ready. So a lot of you guys actually said crop tops on Instagram and I was like, oh, I I'm totally comfortable with crop tops. But then I realized the crop tops I wear are a very specific type of crop top. Loose and flowy, they have sleeves, they crop like right above my belly button. And while that's a super cute style, I do think I've definitely limited myself to just that kind of crop top because of my insecurities. So I got one of those like short little tight fitting ribbed crop top tank tops. Let's go try this on. Let's go try to style this. Now here's the thing. I think this is actually my first time ever even trying on a shirt like this, but I have a ton of outfit inspiration photos I've saved of other women wearing tops like this because I think they're very cute, but I think I have been afraid that they would highlight some of my insecurities. You know, with it being such like a, a short and tight crop top, I was worried about it hugging my stomach and hugging my chest and making me just feel insecure about those areas. Also the straps, being so thin, I was worried about what kind of bra I could wear with it. And I just, I don't usually show this much of my arms in a shirt. So I'm wearing my Savage X Fenty new strapless bra under here and it's working really nicely. I feel like it's giving my chest support so I'm comfortable in it, but I get to rock the bare shoulder look. And then I paired it with these like high-waisted linen kind of denim looking capri pants. And I surprisingly kind of like it. I feel like this is an outfit that I would pin on Pinterest, but I'm just not used to seeing it on me because so much of representation in fashion is smaller bodies. I'm not used to seeing a tank top and a style like this on someone who looks like me. And I'm surprised at that. <laughs> so day one, we are ready. My pants are a little wrinkled. Should I, should I iron these? I should iron these. You guys are gonna tell me I'm lazy if I don't iron these. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna iron these pants and then we will get on with day one.
6 o'clock. As you guys saw in that little montage, Steven is home from work. He helped me take an Instagram photo in this outfit. I have felt pretty good in this shirt throughout the day. The only thing is I notice I pull on the bottom a lot especially when I was sitting down at my desk just doing my like computer work for the day. I was constantly fidgeting trying to pull the shirt down and I think that just comes down to me not being comfortable with this short of a crop top. It might not look that short because I'm pairing it with these high-waisted pants, but like for reference, my belly button is here. <laughs> so this is a very short crop top and I, I think it's gonna take some getting used to. But that being said, I do really like the way I look in this. I do actually think I will wear this again, but um, I don't know if I'll wear it again without some sort of like wrap or duster or cardigan. I don't know. I just don't know if the, the bare shoulders look is something I'm 100% comfortable with and it's not even really about the insecurity of wearing something that's sleeveless or wearing something that's tight or wearing something that's cropped. I think I have proved to myself today that it isn't that scary and it actually, I, I actually do like the way it looks on me, but for my comfort level, I do think I would prefer just to have some sort of other coverage on this and there's nothing wrong with that. Also, one other thing I wanted to know, I did not shave my armpits today or yesterday or the day before and I'm still wearing a tank top because shaving is a personal choice. Some days I personally choose to shave my armpits if I'm wearing something sleeveless and some days I don't and today I don't and that is my personal choice. So don't let anyone tell you you have to shave your armpits if you're wearing a tank top. You don't. And you also don't have to be thin or have certain proportions or anything. If you like a tight fitting tank top crop top, wear the tight fitting tank top crop top and you can rock it. But also it's okay to decide that's not your thing and, and not wear it, but not because of your insecurities. That's a lot of knots. Let's go to day two. <laughs> I have put off getting dressed this morning because I just really don't want to wear low-waisted pants. And that's what I have planned for today, but we're gonna do it. Jessica, who works with me on my channel, is just starting to like come back in to work in person now. And she's gonna be here any minute. And I'm still not dressed. So I need to just buck up, put on the low-waisted pants, and try to figure out a way to break through this clothing insecurity. Cause oh man, it is real when it comes to low waisted pants. So I love high waisted, high rise everything. And apparently so do a lot of you guys because so many of the answers on my Instagram question box were low rise bottoms. Gonna be honest, I am real skeptical about this one. I feel like yesterday I did kind of end the day feeling good about the ribbed tank top. And even if that's not necessarily the way I would wear one of those every day, I feel like I, I felt totally confident in it. I have very little faith that I'm gonna leave this video just feeling 100% confident in low Low rise bottoms, but I am open to the possibility and I'm gonna try. So I bought a pair of Old Navy low waisted jeans and I'm gonna try a bunch of different ways to style them and we'll pick one to stick with for the day, but this is a challenge. <laughs> Here are the low rise pants. They're not as bad as I thought. And honestly, I spent most of my life wearing low rise pants because there was a time when pretty much every pair of pants I wore was low rise because that's what was sold in stores. And that time was called high school and I do not want to go back, but we're trying today. Okay, so just to, to start off nice and simple, we could go just little white t-shirt tucked in, maybe do like my unfiltered hat. Very simple, very straightforward, appropriate for a day working in my home office with Jess. Option two is this little flowy polka dot tank top, but I do think if I wear something flowy, I wanna tuck it in because I wanna, I wanna try and face this fear head on of the low rise jeans. Okay, this doesn't look that bad. I think I'm used to when I tuck in a shirt, I'm used to it really emphasizing my waist because it's hitting like above my belly button versus these, I'll show you, are hitting like a solid, I don't know, two, two and a half inches below my belly button. But like tucked in, it didn't look that bad. So this is an option. Or this is another option, which looks more like a fall outfit, but you know what? If I have to style it out of season to make myself comfortable in low rise jeans, I'm still gonna take that as a win. So I tucked in this tank top into the jeans and the tank top's really, really old. It's kind of see-through, but I feel like it doesn't really matter. I'm wearing this black Savage X Fenty bra underneath, so it kind of blends in. And then I have this like men's plaid shirt over the top. And it's definitely not hiding the fact that these are 
entire low rise because it's right out there in the open. But it is giving me like an extra layer to play with. But I don't know, I don't know. Jess is gonna be here in a minute, so I'm gonna ask her opinion. I'm gonna show her these clips and whichever one she says I should wear, we're going with that. Jess is here, yay! Okay, now you can help me be not indecisive about these low rise jeans, which by the way, sitting down, actually definitely more comfortable than high rise. I didn't even realize. Yeah. So this one, or this one, or this one, what I'm wearing, wearing now. Ooh, I like the first one and the last one for sure. Okay. So should I just do the first one and keep it simple? Cause I feel like this does kind of distract from them being low rise. I kinda like it, just a white tee. I feel like that's very you. Okay. Thanks Jess. I'm so glad to have you back. So is Bella. I know. <laughs> Alright, so here is our simple outfit for today with the low-rise jeans. I decided to do a little French tuck in the front so that you could actually see where the waist hits. And I don't hate it. They're comfy. The material is relatively stretchy. Sitting down, because it is a lower waist, the waistband isn't like hitting my belly button ring, which can sometimes be annoying with high-waisted pants. And I added in this little denim hair scarf, and I'm thinking maybe for the photo later, I'll put on my like button front denim long sleeve, but leave it open. Maybe wear it like kind of off the shoulder. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I was really dreading today, but this outfit looks no different than something I would normally wear, except except for the fact that instead of the waist being here, it's here. Today's gonna be a work day in the office. So lots of like video planning and scheduling and stuff, some editing. Right now, Jess is working on the mail. I'm gonna organize some footage. And uh, oh, I can just, I can just let my stomach breathe. That is not, not being held in by any, any high waist of any sort. dinner. My work day is wrapped up. Now, Steven, you know I'm filming a video where I style clothes that make me feel insecure. Okay. So what part of this outfit do you think just drives me bonkers? The shirt? No. The pants? What aspect of the pants? See if you can figure it out. That what? Black. No. What do I always do with my pants that you make fun of me for? Oh, you wear them really high. Yeah. Like up to here. Yeah. And these are low rise. Like low rise, low rise. Before I say anything, what do you think of them? One, I can't really tell the difference. You can't tell the difference? Two, I think they look good. Huh? Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if only my insecurities were as simple as my husband telling me they look fine, then I would have no insecurities. One thing I did notice throughout the day today is I was constantly hiking these up, trying to make them at least mid rise, and then it would just give me major camel toe. And so then I would have to pull them, shimmy them back down. But you know what? I was actually surprisingly comfortable today. But I still don't think the low rise jeans were as cute as like a pair of high rise black jeans would have been with this outfit. Because I feel like high rise jeans just really highlight my figure in a way that makes me feel super confident. And I just feel like they're very cute and stylish and they add a lot to an outfit. Whereas these pants, I feel like they were not adding anything aesthetically. But I didn't hate it, and that's progress, and I didn't feel insecure at all today. If anything, I just felt a little bit uh, uncomfortable because I didn't have that security of wearing a high-rise pant where I feel very held and supported. Am I gonna be running to the store to buy a bunch of pairs of low-rise pants anytime soon? No, but am I gonna keep these and actually probably wear them? I, I think so. And I think if I had to wear low rise pants again for any sort of video, I don't think it would be as daunting as it was this morning when I was getting ready. There's something about breaking those like fashion fears and insecurities that makes you realize they were kind of not that big of a deal in the first place. And I feel like that's definitely what's happening for me today with the, the low rise pants. They're, it's just not that big of a deal. 
so day three, we are gonna be conquering a body con dress. A lot of you guys said you had this insecurity too, and I just, I really love the way that bodycon dresses look, but it is hard to escape that insecurity of something just hugging all the different parts of my body, especially my stomach. I've had this issue in the past where I will buy a bodycon dress thinking I am ready to push past that insecurity, and then it sits in my closet because I'm too afraid to actually wear it. But not today, not today. <laughs> Today, I am wearing the bodycon dress. I just put it on. Let me go show you what it looks like in the mirror. And I'm not sure if I wanna just wear it as is or if I wanna style it with some sort of wrap or cardigan or duster. Also, in the past, I've referred to those kind of items as kimonos. I'm not gonna be doing that moving forward. I've been informed now that the use of the word kimono for like a modern day wrap, cardigan, kind of like the lacy things that I wear a lot, can be insulting to Japanese culture. So from now on, I'll probably refer to them as dusters, wraps, cardigans, but just know that that's what I'm talking about. I'm just calling it by a different name now. So here is the bodycon dress. I ordered it from a brand called Universal Standard. And in the past, the bodycon dresses that I've bought have been like, fancier. And so also I just don't have as many occasions where I would wear that. Whereas this, this is more casual, or at least it can be dressed down to be more casual. I feel like in theory, this is something that could fit into my everyday style. I'm not going to wear any spanks with it or any shapewear. And I feel like seeing the outline of my belly button here and the way it's really showing every contour of my stomach and my thighs is just something I'm going to have to get used to today. So I'm going to make this promise to myself right now. I'm might not like this by the end of the day and that's okay, but I am not gonna let myself think or say negative things about the way that my body looks in this dress. We're just not gonna do that. I'm not gonna allow myself to think or speak that way about myself. And I'm a big believer that sometimes you just have to fake it till you make it. So you know what? I look good. I look good in this dress. Let's try it with a little lace wrap. The nice thing about the lace wrap is it gives me that cute extra layer of comfort, but that's equally the bad thing with the lace wrap because it gives me something to hide under. So you know what? I think I am gonna wear the wrap on and off throughout the day, but if I wear it, I'm gonna kind of wear it off the shoulder like this so that I can't just cover up with it. Then none of that today. Also, I think it's like a cute accessory for when we take the photo later, but I think for most of the day, I am just gonna do this. <laughs> so I've got a pretty busy work day today. I'm gonna be doing some filming and then later tonight, Steven and I have a date night plan. So I think this is kind of the perfect outfit for both. Also, it's just incredibly comfortable. <laughs> Even though it's tight fitting, it's not like, like holding me in. It's very, very freeing, I guess I would say. So kind of a nice comfy thing to wear and I feel like it's gonna be pretty cute for date night. My day's gone pretty well. I had a productive work day and then now I'm having a fun little date night with Steven. We just took a pause from playing video games because I think I wanna go change into pajamas. It's about eight o'clock now. But this dress has been surprisingly comfy. I'm surprisingly happy with it. I think bodycon dresses are probably the thing in this video that I most want to wear and want to be confident in, but I just continuously struggle with. And so I do think today was kind of a breakthrough for me. I feel like a big part of getting used to wearing a bodycon dress is just getting used to the way that my body looks in a bodycon dress. When I was trying to take the Instagram photo for today, I could not figure out the right way to pose in this kind of dress, just because I never really wear things like this. This is pretty new to me. I did feel a little bit insecure about my stomach at times, but Stephen was actually really great at encouraging me about it throughout the evening. Uh, see, I like this dress. I know, mm -hmm. you've made it very clear you really like this dress. <laughs> it's also kind of funny because it's like, it's like teetering on like going out. Status, it is. And I just haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> 
you know, we're all probably gonna be inside for a, a good while longer. I am gonna make an effort to wear this dress on days around the house when it's just me and you or me and Jess so that I get comfortable in it and used to the way that my body looks in it. And then eventually I'll get to a point where I feel 100% confident wearing this in front of whoever to wherever and I feel good about it. I love you. I love you. I feel like I made good progress today. Right. One more thing I do have to add though, it was very warm today and I did experience quite a bit of chub robe. I put some deodorant on my inner thighs and that helped, but since this dress is pretty long, it hits like right below my knee. I think in the future, I'll probably wear bike shorts with this, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, if I wear this little wrap, does it make it look less like I'm naked? We're conquering strapless today, so without this, it looks a little funky. We're gonna, we're gonna wear this. Day four, today I'm gonna be conquering, like I said, my fear of wearing things that are strapless and also a second fear, which is wearing anything white. And a lot of you guys seem to share both of these fears with me. So I feel like throughout my teen years, I very much believed in this idea that I had been taught that white and light colors are unflattering and highlight your problem areas. And that instead you should wear dark colors because they are more slimming. And that mindset, honestly, just thinking back on it makes me so sad because your body is not a problem area. Your body is one cohesive unit that houses your soul and who you are and it doesn't need aesthetic fixes to specific areas that don't fit our very niche ideas of beauty. And so I've been trying to work through this because confidence and body positivity is such a journey. You know, it was years back that I had my first breakthrough being like, wait, I can wear white. I can wear light colors, but there's still a lot that I need to to unlearn and break through to get to a point where I am truly comfortable wearing light colors and not having that little voice in the back of my head telling me it's not flattering. And then my insecurity with wearing things that are strapless stems more from a comfort aspect and less of an aesthetic aspect, but I still want to try and conquer it. And that's because I'm just nervous wearing things that are strapless that I'm not going to have support, that I'm not going to feel like I can move comfortably, that the top is going to be pulling my breasts down. And you know what? I recently just bought a white strapless swimsuit. If you guys saw my airy bikini haul and I have not worn it yet. So today, that's what I'm wearing. Let's go look in the mirror. Okay, I wasn't gonna wear this wrap with it. I just put it on for the talking part because it was sitting in my office from the other day, but it actually high key looks cute with this. But we'll take it off because I wanna give this white strapless bikini its full moment. <laughs> so I'm really glad that I have a matching high-waisted bottom to go with this because I'm definitely most confident and comfortable in high-waisted bottoms. So it makes it a lot more palatable to know that the bottom is something I feel totally good in and I'm just gonna be you know conquering the top i actually do feel really cute in this looking in the mirror i don't feel insecure the only thing i do get a little bit nervous about is that i feel like this is kind of pulling my chest down in a way that doesn't make me feel super great i don't know who said white isn't a flattering color because i feel like this looks so cute and so bomb honestly my main concern is really not as much about the swimsuit and more about what's going on under the swimsuit and that is that for some reason in my freaking brain. I thought it would be a good idea to plan a video where I would be wearing a white swimsuit on the day where I knew I was gonna get my period. <laughs> If you would have asked teenage me if I ever would have worn a white swimsuit, it would have been a hard no. And then if you would have said, and while you're on your period, that would have been an even stronger no. So teenage me may have been mortified, but current me feels surprisingly good. And also very excited to go in the pool because it's very hot.
well, I'm gonna go ahead and say day four, my pool day in the white strapless swimsuit was a pretty big success. For a video that's supposed to be about wearing clothes that make me feel insecure, I felt pretty dang confident today. I mean, maybe it's just because I'm relaxing, hanging out in the pool with my husband, but I didn't really have any moments where I felt insecure in this. The fact that it was white didn't bother me at all, and I feel like that's definitely a big breakthrough for me. The only thing I should have to fear with wearing white is ketchup stains, and today, no ketchup stains to be seen, so no problems here. I don't know, I feel like it's been a really long time coming for me to get to the point where I'm comfortable wearing a white swimsuit because I've always liked the way they look. And today was that day. I also didn't have any like period related mishaps. Everything was all good down there. I will say though, I did catch myself a few times throughout the day like holding this up, like as I was jumping in the pool or Steven and I were playing around. But the top stayed in place most of the day. I felt fine and good and confident. So day four, wearing white and wearing strapless, I'm gonna go ahead and say I, I feel like I've conquered this fear and this insecurity. Day five, and this fashion fear is a little bit different than the previous ones. So today we are gonna be conquering my insecurity around wearing things that are shapeless. I'm sure you guys have heard me say this a million times in other videos, but I love waist definition. I love outfits that really show my body and my figure. And so I tend to stay away from especially dresses that are shapeless. And this insecurity is kind of different from the others because it actually stems from a time in my life when I was way more insecure than I am now. So back in like my early college days, I was at kind of my all time low for my confidence and all time high for my insecurities. Ironically, I was the smallest I've ever been, but I was just really, really overly consumed and obsessed with my appearance, with my body, with my size, with my weight, with calories, with all of those numbers. I put all of my value as a person in those numbers. And so I became very insecure with the way that I looked because it was never good enough. And so in that time, I wore a lot of clothes that would cover up my body because I was embarrassed by it. And on my really low confidence days, baggy t-shirt dresses were kind of my go-to because I could wear it and play it off as just like an effortless, simple outfit. But what it was really doing for me was hiding my body, keeping me from having to acknowledge my body and keeping me from letting other people see my body. And so a year or so later when I discovered body positivity and I really started to change the way I think about myself and value myself, I kind of like purged my closet of all of those t-shirt dresses. I was like, we're not doing this anymore. I'm not covering up my body. And I think I really almost overcompensated in the other direction that I felt like everything that I wore had to show my body because I was confident and I was finally happy with myself. And I'm so, so glad that I was able to make that change. But I think now I'm at the point where I need to realize that not everything I wear has to be perfectly flattering. Not everything I wear has to perfectly show my body. And it's okay to sometimes wear things that are just comfy and baggy and oversized and not worry about it. And so I bought this t-shirt dress on Madewell. It was on sale and it had like really amazing reviews. So I was like, okay, if I'm ever gonna break this freaking fashion fear, this is the dress to do it. So I'm wearing it right now, let's go look in the mirror. Here we have it, it's loose, it's baggy, it's shapeless, and you know what? All of that is totally fine. I think I just need to prove to myself that I can wear something like this without going back to that insecure, self-obsessed mindset, and that I can wear something like this and just be happy in it and think it looks cute and comfy. Cause whenever I see other girls wearing dresses like this, I think they look so cute. But on me, it just, I was afraid it would bring me back to that mindset. And I look at myself in the mirror and I feel like it's been enough time that my brain isn't going back to that old negative place. But my instinct still is to take like a little flannel or like that denim shirt that I wore on day two and tie it around my waist. Honestly, that's probably how I'll wear this dress outside of this video. But for today, I wanna just wear it the way it is, probably throw on like my Birkenstocks, just keep it super casual and comfy. We're about to head out to Target, so let's do it. Let's take on the day in our shapeless t-shirt dress.
okay it is now getting later into the evening and i have to say this dress has been comfy easy breezy low maintenance and i have felt totally cute and put together and not at all insecure i think it's really proof to me that there's nothing scary about t-shirt dresses they're actually very cute and a very simple low maintenance outfit especially for summer i'm just wearing a little pair of like nude bike shorts underneath to prevent the trep rub and this dress has just been like the last thing on my mind all day which is so nice to just have a very low maintenance outfit it's a one simple piece that i can just throw on i have no doubt in my mind that i'm actually going to be wearing this dress a lot both with some sort of tie around the waist to give definition and just on its own shapeless like i did today because it's so comfy and so cute and so easy and I felt really good in it. I'd say day five is is definitely a success. And this video as a whole has been really powerful for me personally in that I think there is just something kind of demystifying about putting on clothes that you've worked up in your brain as being such a big deal that you can't wear for whatever reason. And then you finally put it on and wear it for a day and you're like, oh wait, there's literally nothing wrong with this. If any other YouTubers are watching this, whether your channel has two subscribers or 200,000 and you've enjoyed watching this video, I highly encourage you to do it on your own channel because it's really empowering to do just for you. And it's also like kind of a cool process to document and show to other people online. And even if you're not a YouTuber, definitely experiment with wearing those clothing styles that seem so scary to you. I think starting by wearing them just around your house or around people that you feel really comfortable with is a great place to start. So you can really get used to what you look like and feel like in those clothing items before you try and like go and wear them out and about. But I already filmed an outro for this video, so let's cut to that. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I wanna say another thank you to Savage X Fenty for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. They're like the perfect sponsor for this kind of video where I'm conquering my insecurities because they're all about inclusivity and self-expression. If you wanna check out Savage X Fenty, they have a great little style quiz that you can take to get started and find out which Savage X you are. And Savage will suggest styles specifically catered towards towards your personal taste. And don't forget to enter your email after you take that quiz so you can get exclusive offers up to 50% off. And remember, you can get 50% off any items in your first extra VIP order when you join their monthly membership program. Plus bras from $15, bralettes from $10, and undies from $7. The membership is flexible, so you can choose to shop or skip that month if there's nothing that you wanna purchase. And you can skip as many months as you want, just make sure that you skip by the fifth if you don't wanna purchase that month. Be confident, be kind to your body, and I will see you guys on Tuesday, actually, with a bonus video next week. Bye!